What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Epic 7 video guys. Today we're going to be talking about ancient coins. Um, for those of you guys who are just starting and maybe you guys are getting ancient coins, you guys are probably wondering what, it, what to do with them. Uh, and those of you guys who have been maybe playing for a little bit but still kind of unsure, hopefully this video will kind of clear that up for you. I'm going to share with you guys some ideas as to kind of what I've learned along the way and, and what I started doing. Um, as I progress through the game up to uh, Hellray, which is where I'm currently at right now. Um, so when you look at this, guys, the ancient coins are like a big way to kind of progress. Uh, you can acquire ancient coins by doing the hunt missions, which is what I recommend that you do. So if you go to the sanctuary, you go to your high command, uh, you unlock the hunt missions, and you're able to start getting ancient coins. I recommend getting these pretty much, you know, through and through um, until basically eternity, <laughs> okay? And uh, also the other way to get them is not an adventure because I just clicked the wrong thing. Uh, but through battle mode, if you guys go to the labyrinth here, um, just doing these labyrinths, as you guys know, because uh, the, the game pretty much showed you about these. As you go through, you'll get ancient coins as well as gear here it's for the exclusive rewards. Now, uh, when I started out, I didn't really um, understand what to do, and I thought the ancient coins were kind of dumb because I didn't understand how the, the jewelry system worked. But currently in the game, uh, the only way to get jewelry is by doing the labyrinth um, and or raid and of course spending ancient coins to open chests. Now the big thing here is once you start to amass a bunch of these ancient coins, certain things are going to become more important to buy. So in a nutshell, how this works is if you don't have any jewels, okay, and you're trying to get jewelry and get better jewels, opening the equipment chests are the best way to go about it, okay? You're going to be opening these equipment chests probably until you're well into, I'd probably say Wyvern 9 ish or at least until you're able to get into raid um, and start getting some consistent jewels or uh, like I said if you're farming like a specific stage in labyrinth and you got you know you got some some decent you know tier 3 tier 4 uh, potentially even tier 5 jewels on your team um, that's how long you're going to be opening these chests now once you start to get into the point where you have consistent jewels uh, or consistent jewels with decent jewels um, then your investment is going to kind of start to go into like a 50 50 split meaning 50 percent of your ancient coins are going to go into opening chests and the other 50 percent are going to go into going to getting charms until um, your ring or your necklaces on your designated heroes hopefully you're working on one team um, until th that gear is pretty much maxed at 15. Once that gear is maxed at 15, um, then you can you have a choice here, uh, which where you can basically start uh, just you know go back to spamming the chest, or you can start to save uh, for your hell tickets. Now I don't I don't necessarily uh, recommend saving for hell tickets if you're not even close to doing the raid uh, or at least hell raid, uh, just because you're kind of just burning off 1,200 coins um, up front. Uh, when you're you're not even going to be able to touch this unless you just want to amass malicious bug charms, uh, you know, let's say every week until you're ready to do hell, and then you'll just have a ton. You can just do reentry tickets or whatever, uh, but that's going to be entirely up to you. Um, so again, guys, uh, up to where we're at, you know, when you start out the game, these are going to be the most important thing for you. Once you establish some decent tier three, tier four, potentially even tier five jewels um, that match the stats that you need. So for, you know, attack percent or whatever, or crit rate or crit damage uh, with decent subs on your units uh, for damage. And then, of course, HP or defense or speed, uh, excuse me, HP or defense for your rings and your necklaces for your supports. Uh, once you have those, then again, I recommend doing like a 50-50 split or a 60-40 or however you guys want to work it. It doesn't really matter. Um, but between getting charms so you can get your gear leveled and then, of course, opening accessory chests so you have that consistent flow of gear coming in for replacements. Um, the big thing here is, and I'm going to mention this, this has nothing to do with ancient coins. But once you guys rank up in the shop as well and you, you get your shop ranked to 10, uh, the big thing here is you guys want to keep an eye out for uh, rings, um, basically rings and necklaces that spawn in the shop because this is a, a nice way to speed up your progression. So make sure you guys are keeping an eye on your secret shop and leveling that up uh, to 10. Uh, so, you know, when this resets every hour, just, you know, take a peek at it because there might be some decent T5 or T6 uh, jewels um, in there that you guys can use to kind of offset your progression here with the ancient coins. Um, now, kind of where I'm at in the game, if you guys are like, well, you know, what are you spending your coins on right now, D? I'm kind of just at the point now where I'm not really um, 
spinning any chests. I mean, I'm opening chests here and there, but it's not much. Mostly for me right now, it's just charms. Um, and then, of course, uh, I want to buy this extra chance to enter the labyrinth so I can get uh, jewel drops. Uh, the 67 jewel drops plus. Um, I'm kind of focused on raid right now, hoping to get uh, some ne the, the, the speed necklace and stuff uh, that drops out of the raid. Um, and trying to get those from normal raid. And that's kind of what I'm focused on right now. Um, but where I'm at with this, I'm not really opening chests too much anymore. I might gamble here and there, but for me, the primary focus is getting raid gear, um, getting the, the charms, and then, of course, uh, grabbing the malicious bug charms when I have enough just so I can get the extra entry into the hell raid uh, now. So... With that being said, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. Uh, hopefully, this kind of cleared some stuff up for you, at least gave you some general guidelines uh, to kind of to follow or adapt into your style or strategy of play uh, in Epic 7 when it comes to your ancient coins. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, this is your boy, Damone, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.